Are developers getting screwed because of AI? Well, let's find out. No, and I will tell you why. But before, let's understand the history of software engineering throughout these years. This started way back in 1940s and 1950s, where the pioneering days were there for software engineering. Before there were personal computers, there were hardware devices, and software engineering was very machine-heavy codes where you used to write a machine-specific codes. You were writing the code. how machine would be understanding it and back in those days it was only used in very specific purposes like for scientific calculations a military and defense systems and so on then later there was a shift from 1950s to 1960s where high level languages were introduced and due to this high level languages there was a increase in software engineering or software developer roles where languages like fortran cobol lips were introduced and people started using those and those were very high level languages but still better than the machine level instructions those were back at the time understandable by the humans because those were in plain english languages and because of that there was a good use of business application development and so on so there was a rise in the software development roles so now you can see that there was a shift from 1940s and 50s to 1950s and 16s where from writing high level machine codes to high level languages where this high level languages were were understandable by the humans as well so there was a shift there so whoever the developers were there who were writing their code in machine level instruction they had to shift to the high level languages and probably those were the ones who created that then after that there was again a shift in the technology where personal computers were introduced in late 1970s to late 1980s now because of this personal computers lot of people got access to the computing and lot of people went into software engineering and software development roles now this was also another shift where from high level languages to a newer languages where a gui and operating systems were developed those kind of languages were introduced and there was again a shift in how you build softwares and how you do software engineering so there was a shift from writing your cobol or fortran languages to building the guis and building the operating system so again a shift was there where engineers have to shift towards the newer technology where the operating systems were created applications like word processor excels were created and so many more things then again a shift happened in mid 1990s where internet was introduced and a lot of web application has to be built so there was again a shift from building your operating systems building your application that runs on a personal computer to applications that run on the web on the internet so again the developer has to shift towards a new technology and adapt to that you can see that all the different era came and everyone has to shift towards a new technology to be relevant now today there is a shift towards the ai earlier there was a shift towards the mobile computing as well now it is towards the ai so as a software engineer if you are working towards building the applications of our mobile web or whatever then there is a shift now happening towards the ai and we have to move towards the ai as well so you can see that this is not the first time that we have seen that there is a global tech shift happening it has been a proven history that the technology will shift towards a better version of itself so we need to adapt to it if we talk about ai itself right and we have seen that there are a lot of layoffs happening within the industry as well and those are the things happen in the past as well so now what we are seeing is as the technology is moving towards the ai only ai is not responsible for the developers getting screwed earlier the path for the software engineer was to get a cs degree get a internship get a junior level software engineer role then get some experience go towards the mid level software engineer role and get some more experience and go towards the senior software engineer role so this was a journey now if you see the junior level software engineers what they do is they follow the instructions given by their senior engineers they do what is been asked to do and now what we are seeing is those kind of task are been easily be done by the help of ai but today ai does not guarantee that you will get a accurate output from it eventually we will get to it but currently that's not the case and in future if you are there as well then there is a lot of more things in software engineering than writing a code so writing a code is a very small part of software engineering where we are just writing the boilerplate code where we are just trying to give the input instructions to the system that whatever i want just do this stuff but software engineering if you see from the holistic view has a lot of things there are three pillars that comes into software engineering as per my opinion that is business product and engineering now what software engineer do is they take this three pillar business product and engineering and work towards 
getting the fulfillment of all their requirements we need to make sure that whatever we're building that is impacting the business it is impacting the product and engineering is something that you're solving with so as a software engineer you do a lot of stuff you design systems you make sure that whatever the processes that you're setting up for your engineering pipelines whatever we do those all things are set up properly so that we have an automated way of doing everything which improves your business as well so in my opinion if you see if you are being relevant within the industry and if you are learning new things within the market whatever it is coming whatever the new tech that we are seeing if you are with that then you will not be getting screwed for sure because the human intelligence will be needed everywhere artificial intelligence will not be able to each and everything it today we have seen that it hallucinates a lot right so human intelligence is something that will never go away we need to just make sure that we are relevant within the industry and we learn all the new technologies coming we should be aware about what all things are happening within the industry and we need to also make sure that we use those technologies as well it's not like okay it's ai i do not want to use it it will make me dumb yes it can make you dumb but we need to make sure that we utilize it correctly we have also seen that using those ai tools and technologies it has increased the productivity of each and every one of us earlier we used to add a piece of code for sorting an array currently we can do that easily with the help of ai we do not have to worry about such utility functions and anything those kind of boilerplate code and boilerplate stuffs will be easily be available with the help of ai so we do not have to worry about getting screwed because of just ai we have to utilize this ai technology and embrace this and make sure that we utilize it correctly it improves how you function as a software engineer so if there are any points that you wanted to share or if you do not agree with me then do let me know in the comment section below we can have a healthy discussion there as well and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on join button to join my channel and support me that's been it i wanted to share with you today i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye